Hello everyone, in this video we are going to have a lot of different stories and a lot of different news stories. Keep a critical mind as always. I will always try to put all the evidence and proof out there. If there isn't enough, then also you can search for yourself, but I will try to keep all those things out there for you guys. And as always, keep a critical mind and I hope you enjoy. Vivi, Victoria Brightshield from TTT of Nidisanji EN is finally getting something good happening. I mean, they've been getting a lot of good things happening recently, but right now, the 3 point brush up is something that a lot of people want in the agency. And the agency doesn't do it by seniority, doesn't do it by anything like that. It does it by just straight gotcha system. It's a straight gotcha system. You can be there for five, six years. You can be there for several years and not get it. And then someone who is your Kohai, who's been there maybe like one or two years, will get it. So it's it's a weird system for it to work that way, but it's a system that they've had for years. It's both on JP and EN. So EN isn't just being targeted for this, but it is nice to see that finally... Victoria Brightshield gets something good going for her. And here we go. Here we go. We're going to go take a look at this. The fact is the day that... Look at that. She's got mouth movement. I don't know. Hell, <clears throat> Hell freeze is over. There she goes. You, you, you got all the different toggles there. You got the embarrassed toggle. It's... Wow, I look like I read some really good stuff there. It depends on uh, the agency. Nidhi Sanji has tended to have more stiff models in general. It's not anything to do with the liver themselves, not anything to do with them not being expressive in and the, of the way that they do things, but the models, as you can see, are kind of stiff, but the 3.0 is a lot less stiff. I bought tiramisu for dessert. <laughs> a little bit more movement, a little bit more of that. The at least the neck is less stiff than what it usually is. So here she has the green screen so you know people can see all the movement she makes. She seems really, really happy with what's going on. So that is the most important part out of all of this is that she's very happy with what's going on. At least she's getting something going on there. At least she's doing something. You know, it's not having to do with her not having the merits to get all this. It's just the weird way that Nidhi Sanji works. But very, very happy times for Vivi. Ina, as you know, Ina from uh, Hollow Life Myth, Hollow Life Myth, had been going through an issue. It was a visa issue, is what we can gather. They didn't say anything before, but what we can gather, it was a visa issue because she was not able to work in Japan. She was in Japan when that announcement was made by her and by Hololive management, which meant that in Japan, you cannot work without a visa, just like any other country. If you go back to a country that you have a citizenship in, you can now work without a problem of having a Japanese visa. You just need it while you are in that country. Just like if I go to Austria or I go somewhere in Europe, or even I go down south to Mexico and I decide to, I want to work over there and stream for a couple of days. I need a visa for that. At least technically, you need a visa for that. So it says, of course, you can't go into full detail on what happened. It's a bummer her projects and plans being affected the way they were. Anything she had done before by contract is still fine. Though. Um, this plan to return home was already planned before I even went to Japan. So it's nothing, nothing serious, nothing too, too serious. But it's just, it's just very, very inconvenient, unfortunate timing. <laughs> It's just, uh, yeah. I don't know if I can say that much in detail. Because it's a very complicated situation, especially for me. But I have to say, on the bright side, it was lucky it was just me that, you know, had this problem. It would have been the same if anyone else was there for a short amount of time as well, I feel like. Yeah, it's just very unfortunate uh, timing and stuff. This is very unfortunate because the whole reason of me being there in person was because of something that I've been literally planning and scheduling and working towards for basically the entire year. And, uh... In hindsight, I feel like when I made the first tweet, I was kind of very disappointed and frustrated with how things had to be because it very well could have been prevented if uh, I feel like the parties involved could have done a better job. <laughs> and um, I was at a point where I might have to delay again some of the things that I've planned for the entire year that I've literally tied a lot of other things to. And, uh, you know, it kind of felt like my entire effort behind the scenes during the year was kind of denied on the spot out of nowhere. So I'm sorry if I, got, I made you guys worry a little bit because of my tone of tweet, but <laughs> it was just uh, not a good time, not a good time. But I am working very hard to sort everything out so that everything happens on time and that it's all sorted out. So that's uh, that's being sorted out. I'm, I'm working very hard. Made in advance because of family events. And one of the options that was uh, suggested to me is to cancel all my plans that I've made months in advance, booked months in advance. <laughs> paid for months in advance and stay home so that i can properly stream and do other work and as 
I thought about it, but as I personally have done everything properly on my end, and... <laughs> Sorry, I'm choosing my words very, uh, very carefully. <laughs> and the fact that I probably will not get reimbursed for any of the money I've spent to book all these plans ahead of time. I thought about it hard, but I feel like I will probably still go ahead and think of it as a quote-unquote vacation time of the year. <laughs> so that is the, the bad news is that for the remainder of my trip in Japan, I won't be able to talk to you guys. <laughs> Which is, which is the bad news. Um, but I will take that time to, you know, still think about, you know, plans for next year and whatnot. Um, maybe I'll go travel somewhere in Japan, because why not? <laughs> it's, it's just a very difficult situation to uh, properly convey on my end too, because I barely understand what's happening. <laughs> But uh, it's been sorted out. It's been sorted out. That's the positive things. Okay, that's the negative thing out of the way. Uh, the positive thing is that I can stream and work while I'm home for uh, a little bit. And as I directly will not be working, I can definitely schedule things ahead of time to be uploaded uh, during my absence. <laughs> so there's still going to be things. This is where I want to stop it. This is uh, pretty much, I think. Let me just double check. So, um... I don't think any of the world tour stuff is gonna be affected from what I know. So, I don't know. If it's a headache, it's for... Honestly, it's for the company to figure out. It's out of my hands right now. So most of her projects, these are projects that she was waiting for a whole year. This is what I wanted to talk about. Oh, projects that she's been doing for a whole year, planning way ahead of time. They all have to do it, of course, because they have sponsorship things they have to do. They have other singing things they have to do. They have the world tour thing that they're going to be doing. All that kind of stuff they have to work, which you don't have to worry about the world tour so much because you can get uh, something where it's like you are at home with the, you know, the 3D stuff or whatever, or you can get, you know, something done in your, your place that you are a citizen of. But everything, imagine the time, the effort, the money involved to get people in certain places at certain times in order for you to do certain things, whether it be audio engineers, animators, all these things to get it done at the exact time that you're going to be there physically, all that physical stuff. It probably had to do a lot with, you know, uh, booking locations, booking audio engineers, booking staff for, you know, audio staff, video staff, that type of stuff, booking all of that. And then being told because of bureaucracy that it's, it's an issue. And it, and I had, I had in, I'll accept now wrongfully said that it was all Hololive's fault, but it seems more and more that people were talking to me. This was a Japanese government that failed in their bureaucracy, which of course all governments fail in their bureaucracy. They're absolutely horrible with the, all the bureaucracy they put in, in place. But I've heard that the Japanese visa system, the work visas are even worse. They're much more horrible. They are absolutely something that you should not even like, it's like everybody has issues with the Japanese visa system. So that is something of course that is going through and something that will, um, she will still do various things. She's going to be taking it as vacation time, which is good for her. She's going to be having things planned ahead of time. She's going to be having things that she's going to be doing ahead of time that are going to be out there while she's over there in Japan, just relaxing. Unfortunately, it's a forced vacation because she can't work there, but you know, it's kind of a relaxing thing that she's going to be doing. And, um, it is going to be tough for the Takodachis, but they have her back. For the days that she's going to be outside of Japan, they have her back for streaming. And the day she's going to be back in Japan, she's going to figure something out. She says the world tour doesn't seem to be affected. A lot of things won't seem to be affected. I think most of the big things, Hollow Life is going to figure out a way to do it. Hollow Life is going to be figure out a way to do it, whether it be, you know, collabs that she has, anything else. Hollow Life is going to figure it out. Hollow Life is going to get it handled. And I, I hope, because so far they've been good, they even let her criticize them a little bit, which is something that Hollow Life does that Niji Sanji and others don't. They openly criticize the company for something. And I'm glad that they have that openness. And I'm glad that she can speak about this, that they didn't restrict her from speaking about this. And I am glad that she's back. Big thing, glad that she's back. Koshien, for a lot of people who don't know, is a Japanese uh, tournament for, if I am not mistaken, it is primarily high school related stuff. It is high school baseball. It is their big like world series for Japanese high school baseball, if I'm not mistaken. It may be for baseball like, over its, itself, but if I remember correctly, it was Koshien is for high school baseball, if I'm not mistaken. So baseball is huge in Japan. Baseball is one of those huge things in Japan. Japan, Japanese love sports. It's like college football over here with uh, baseball in general over there, especially even high school baseball is like that over there. So let's take a look at what Hollow Life is doing. People are going to like it because people didn't like Nidisanji Koshien because they just don't like Nidisanji. But they're gonna like it with with Hollow Life because it has Hollow Life people in there. And let's take a look and see what's gonna happen. Oh, 
Hollow Light. Hey, this is actually pretty high. All right. This is high production value. Nice. Koyori. Koyori's gonna be the main one, I think. He's gonna be the... And Kanata. I think they're gonna be the announcers. Uh, Ririka. And Azki. Four. Either they're gonna be the, oh never mind they, they're probably not the announcers they're probably gonna be the um, actual uh, captains because every team has like a captain so they might be the actual captains playing in that um, 1019 at 1800 and 1117 is the next one we're gonna take a look at the actual translated version here it says draft broadcast so they're drafting uh, who are gonna be in their teams I'm guessing that yeah that the team captain that are shown there um, it's gonna be on the 19th it's gonna be of course Koyori Kanata Ririka and Aski. Main event Sunday, November 17th. Main event will be held in 3D. So they're going to be having all of their 3D stuff because the Koshien stuff usually is held in 3D. So, I mean, even when Nidhi Sanji did it, it was held in 3D. Aski is announcing. I'll be participating in director's Az Gakuen High School. AZ Gakuen High School. First time playing Power Pro. I'll do my best to train them. So yes, it is a high school tournament. And here's all the information in Japanese, of course. A summary of rules due to updates. The training period has been revised. All the rules that they have there are out there for everyone to see. And of course, it's going to be have JPEN, ID, and device. So all of their major things. This is Hollow Live centric. So that's why Hollow Stars aren't there. Hollow Stars and Hollow Live, remember, are absolutely separate uh, main branches of their uh, of the cover undercover. So they're the main two branches, the top branches, as I would call them, the top organizations. Maybe not branches would be a good name. Maybe the top organizations under under the cover umbrella cover corporate umbrella would be hollow live for the girl side hollow stars for the boy side hollow stars may be doing something like that in the future who knows but right now hollow live the girl side is going to be doing it all so that is that is fun that is good to, to see and i'm glad that they're doing something like that i was wondering when it was going to be and of course people here have said coyote mentioned that this was two years in the making and she really wanted this to happen so basically the main issue was trying to get the rights with power pro and the people who are doing that because Nidhi Sanji pretty much had a, from what I'm understanding, Nidhi Sanji had a conglot, like a, a whole monopoly on that because they had the big contract with, not saying that I'm hoping this would be more successful than Nidhi Koshien, but I do hope that Holo Koshien finds its own success and draws a lot of viewers. Why? Because we want it to be done again and again. And again, what is Koshien? It refers to Koshien Stadium, which is situated in Hyogo Prefecture, home stadium of the Hanshin Tigers. And two, it's a Japanese high school baseball tournament called Spring Koshien and Summer Koshien. This is what happens when management just let the talents do the work for them. All I do is support what they want to do and have good S like this. Yes, Hollow Life does that. So congratulations to Koyori and others who really, really wanted this to happen. And congratulations for Hollow Life. For supporting their talents in big projects like this. Good news, everyone! Hollow Live EN's beloved uh, Hell Dogs, Hellhounds, ASMR voice packs are starting. Starring Fuamoko, produced by Patra HNST, are on the way. Patra, this one, the one that they recently did a collab with. So she is the one producing it. Sales start October 19th at 12 JST. Of course, Hollow Live reserves the rights. They paid Patra for what she did, of course, for the audio mixing and all that kind of stuff. The audio engineering part. They paid Patra for it. Don't miss the 3D collab starting at 1900 JST on the 19th. And that is, of course, Fuamoko. If it is past the 19th, then, of course, you can go to Fuamoko's channel and take a look at their live section. And you're going to be able to see the 3D collab with Patra. That's what they're going to be doing it with. So over here, Fuamoko themselves are saying Fuamoko first ASMR produced by Patra on sale on the 19th after their their collab suo patra the goddess of asmr world so that is that is awesome for people that want that asmr i can't wait looks powerful kind of funny how much build up there was to this with people begging for it all the time but if you're gonna do something you better do it right and i can't imagine a more right way than to do it with patra's direction of course like like it's been said patra is really good at, at uh getting like the right sounds in asmr she's very experienced course if you're going to be doing asmr you want to be doing a doing it a a uh, audio stuff with asmr you want to be doing it with someone who knows what the heck they're doing and knows um how to properly uh do the audio mixing the sounds and all that kind of stuff so luckily for them they found patra and patra is more than willing to do it of course she's going to be compensated as i mentioned uh 
So this is it, the long-awaited, extremely demanded, and I mean extremely demanded ASMR. Thank you, Fomoko. I can't wait to listen to it ASAP. I'm happy this is getting released on the weekend too, so I get to enjoy it right away. Honestly, I already wanted it too, but I didn't want to put any more pressure on you too that I already had. Looking forward to it. Yeah, basically a lot of people are very happy with this. Uh, so kind of you to think of them like that. I was very more shameless and was definitely begging for it. I mean, they understand. They're not going to get angry at that. But it's good to see that they're going to be putting it out. It's probably, and of course, they're putting it out separately from YouTube. Because if they put it out on YouTube, holy crap, there would be a lot of insane problems with that. We have some news from Hololive. Annie Plus, which is a cafe in Singapore. Uh, or at least this one is a cafe from Singapore specifically. That um, has been doing collaborations with Hololive. And actually right now is doing an Annie, uh, Annie Plus uh, Hololive collaboration cafe in Singapore. Um, is having the Hololive 5th Fest capture the moment. It's going to be viewed. But the viewing has been delayed a little bit. It used, I think it was going to be in later October, but now it's done in November. Annie Plus presents the official fan screening of Hololive Production 5th Best Capture of the Moment in Singapore, the Golden Village Suntech. That's when they're going to have it. It's going to be the 2nd, the 3rd, the 9th, and the 10th of November. More details are here. And Hololive itself, while the details are loading for you guys, Hololive itself. It's, it's mentioned how live English fifth fest capture the moment screening event in Singapore. The screening events will be hosted by Annie plus in Singapore, November. And of course they have their own news. This is all the stuff from capture the moment from Annie plus. They're going to be having it on the two, three, nine and 10 of the, of November screening timings stage one. They have two stages as three stages, actually stage one at 11 AM, uh, stage two, 2 40 PM and stage three, 6 20 PM. Cause capture the, 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 the moment had different stages where different uh, VTubers were on, different members of, the, of, of Hololive were on. Details, Japanese audio with English subtitles. Duration, stage one, 178 minutes, stage two, 179 minutes, stage three, 190 minutes. Ticket sales are open on GV website. Stay tuned for more information. So this is an official thing done by Annie Plus and Hololive. Uh, $50, $50, 50 Singaporean dollars includes one stage ticket, memorial ticket X1 corresponding to the stage. So you have your own ticket, you have a, a, a basically a collector's item ticket and $10 Annie Plus Cafe voucher. Redemption of screening gifts will begin one hour before the movie starts. In terms of Annie Plus Cafe voucher, voucher is valid for, for use on uh, F&B items only uh, with a minimum to spend $20 in a single receipt. Voucher is not exchangeable. Voucher is valid until 31st of January 2025. Annie Plus reserves all the rights to cancel that kind of stuff, of course. And here we have Hololive doing their news. It's going to be Golden Village official website. It's going to be in Golden Village Suntech, a place for them, for them to do the screenings. And it's going to be basically stage 1, 11 a.m. to 40, 6, 20, as mentioned before. And this is all the stuff, the stuff that I had mentioned before on Annie Plus, but they have it on their on their Hololive side. It's a big thing for this to happen. It's a good collaboration, good way for Singaporean fans to capture the moment again, to enjoy the moment again, to have fun with their, their VTubers. Maybe if they missed the fifth fest, this is another way to celebrate it in an official way for you know hololive and them because sometimes you miss the people because it's, you know it's, it's at the wrong time you're working etc now you can actually have a ticketed event where you can go to it's fun and it's good it's good that hololive is doing this takane lui is part of hollow x which is a generation sixth generation of hololive uh they are going to be having animal tower battle tournament uh the 19th on saturday they're going to be holding a tournament raffle looking forward to it it's basically they all these people you see here E N I D and J P. Of course, you wish you could have everybody. You wish everybody could be a part of it. You wish like your favorite Oshi could be a part of it, but not everybody can, unfortunately. And uh, and something new popped up. It's an additional participation decided. Iroha will be joining us after adjusting her schedule. And basically, yeah, Iroha is a new addition to the whole thing. Iroha right there, right next to Louis. So they added original wasn't there with Kyla. Kyla was of course moved up a little bit to the left. And they added Iroha in there. So Kyla just got moved a little bit. Fubuki is moved a little bit more to the top. Of course, when you have that many people, it does suck to uh, have to adjust them in a certain way. Because you want the head size to be pretty much the same for every single one. You have to kind of adjust it that to work in that way. It's just for visual uh, look, the visual look of it. But congratulations to all of them. And I hope it goes very well for them. Production Kawaii, who's going to be closing their doors within a month or so, is still... And wanting to do things of course which as they should until they close they should continue to be doing these things they want to do production kawaii which is kawaii 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 is you know cute kawaii is scary in japanese are we ready to get spooky this halloween season friday the 13th won't have anything on kawaii's 13 frightful nights stay tuned for the schedule 
event period October 19th to October 31st, they're going to be doing 13 nights of Halloween with all of their talents. And remember, each and every one of these talents is going to be retaining their, uh, if if they're not going to graduate, they're going to be retaining their, all of their stuff. They're going to be retaining all of their, all of their IPs, their accounts, everything. So it's going to be a nice little send off for them for the 13 nights of Halloween. It shows that they haven't given up, even if they are officially, you know, giving up by leaving eventually by like, you know, ending production Kawaii. They aren't giving up on their talents and they're still producing things until the last minute, which is the way an agency should do it. IKZ production Kawaii is real. They look so cute. Kawaii is real. Spooky, scary Halloween. You say they're all doing the same thing. They're all using the same one. Let's go. They're all using the same one. Holy crap. They're all using the same one. <laughs> it's hilarious. They're just doing it again and again and again and again and again. It's really cute. It's really cute that they're doing that. But yeah, they're having this, which is a great thing to see. V Trash, a social networking, a social network for talented VTubers who primarily focus on high energy entertainment. Uh, it's a team, basically a team, a social network, whatever you want to call it. They are disbanding. They are um, mentioning all these things first. Uh, she's like people. Others have been mentioning like Irie. Others have been mentioning that they're going to be going uh, stepping away from V Trash. All these people have been mentioning it. First, we have Envy, who mentioned October 17th, they're vol voluntarily stepping away from V Trash official, focusing on solo activities for now. I think all the members and love have been shown, feel so blessed, etc. They're saying, um, I have been surrounded by some of the most creative and heartfelt creators quickly growing in the space next to me. Please continue to support your favorite V Trash members. Then, right here, um, Aetherite, Aerithite, is uh, also left on October 17th. Voluntary walking away from V Trash. Uh, returning to solo activities for the time being. Want to thank all the members who showed me so much love during my time there for all the good moments we shared. Please continue to support V Trash. After all the people that left, they have decided to voluntarily disband. Everybody, this is Nine, the social media manager for V Trash. In light of multitude of internal ongoings, I believe it's best that I announce that V Trash has disbanded effective immediately. We thank you all for your support and I hope they continue to support the members in their solo activities. Please respect people's privacy and know that we will cherish all the good times we spent with you. We are so grateful for all the love and support you've given us. Signing off, V Trash. Uh, and people are saying right here on the on the side note that I'm going to show you uh, in a in a stronger one here. So sad to hear but things happen. Hope all is okay. Won't push out of respect. Still support members independently. Just a little sad because I was wishful wishful of being a V Trash possibly one day. Good luck, soldiers. So yeah, it's it was a member for you know it, it was some people wanted to be members. It was a place where you could join together, which everyone well. But as you saw. There were various people that were leaving and once your main members leave once a lot of your bigger members leave it becomes hard to maintain things as they are and i can understand that i can absolutely understand that i can absolutely respect that there is nothing wrong with that in my opinion uh nothing wrong with with moving on and doing something different of course you could try to rebuild but it takes the wind out of your sails a lot of time when you are trying to make something big like this and it just disappears like a lot of people disappear it breaks the winds out of your sails and it makes it hard to rebuild. So I I, des I definitely respect them for doing this. Yui or YUY, whichever one you want to call it, they are a larger VTuber. As you can see, they have 86K subscribers, 87K subscribers. They have a health-related stream announcement that's going on. This health-related announcement is, I'm so sorry for the influx of top street. Oops, stream canceled, notifications recently. I'm just not recovering well. And my visit to my general practitioner didn't yield much today except confirm that I have severe and worsening chronic acid reflux. They had had this for a bit. They had mentioned this. Uh, there's nothing I can do besides wait for the special uh, specialist to call so I can get a schedule. That's only get assessed and diagnosed, not even treated. In light of this grim timeline, the fact that symptoms have been pr uh, persistent, I'm afraid streams will be more sparse and sporadic for the foreseeable future until I get things get better. Probably going to go back to uploading schedules starting next week, and I will stream on the 24th for my birthday. Or else I'll be so sad and I also commissioned art and everything. So feel free to take up the announcement rules if you'd like. However, because the root of my health problems may or may not be related to uh, how much I use my voice, I have no way to predict which ways it'll be good or bad. So which days are going to be good or bad? I'm doing my best to practice as many lifestyle adjustments as I can to get better soon. And I really hope I do. I miss you guys. I want to bring strong things and are really, things are really hard right now. So yeah, just, you know, send them love. It's a health related stream announcement. I hope they get better soon. Uh, TLDR. Wow. Feel better. People are just are just being mean. <laughs> They're teasing her a bit. Feel better. Love. You know, hope you feel better soon. Everyone's, you know, giving them well wishes, which they deserve, of course, in this situation. And of course, like I mentioned, this is YUY. They are a uh, VTuber who is on Twitch and on YouTube. And of course, as you can see, uh, 
Twitter being weird right now recently with all the stuff that's been going on. Welcome back, everybody, to the VTuber Showcase, the place where I like to give back to the community, uh, pay it forward, whatever you want to call it, showcase small and upcoming VTubers, any VTubers who are uh, beneath, like, I think usually I do around 10 to 20,000, no more, no people that have anything higher than that on their actual streaming platforms. So that means, like, YouTube and such. So anyone that's below that, usually, even if you're above that, just let me know, and then I'll, you know, I, it's a case by case basis type of thing. But showing love. Here we have Cat Gaming Pad VT, the Cat Bun VTuber, who is uh, also affiliate streamer, professional crier, and humble partner since 2022. Right now, let's go to their Twitter, Twitch page. I was just at the Twitter. Now I'm at the Twitch. Uh, here we go. Their bot section. My name is Cat. I'm a Bun. Cat Bun. Stream Gremlin Hours, Midnight PST, or 3 a.m. Uh, Yoroshku and Otsupion. Business increase are there. And of course, it says here to wholesome gremlin community of buns. My name is Kat. I'm a she, her who hails from the land of PST, Pacific Center Time, as a cat bun. I'm a variety streamer. I stream a lot of cute indie games and horror, and other times a rare art stream or just chatting stream. But you often find me talking about manga, chaotic hypotheticals, and tangents. Lots and lots of tangents. Those are always fun. You trash, bitch. Okay, so it's the V button. Ah, this is another. Wait, don't shoot. Tell us why we shouldn't. No, Resident shoot him and then ask questions later. Why shouldn't Pop we? Punk. It's like punt shoots in face and go like, why shouldn't we? Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, Leon with Akane Awake, which is also someone else, and they were streaming uh, Resident Evil Six at the time. It's 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 good good humor. I love the humor. I love uh, that type of humor. It's very fun to watch this. Uh, and of course, for more fun, you have Cat Gaming Pad VT in their shorts uh, YouTube page. So you can see them there and take a look at all of those in the description down below. And thank you so, so much for uh, letting me showcase you and letting me, uh, you know, show you to other people that are out there that maybe normally wouldn't have seen you, but now they have a chance to. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.